You know, most bad kids burn ants using a magnifying glass. But not you. No, you would build anthills out of mud and twigs to scale. It would take you hours, sometimes days. And then you would trick the ants into thinking they were going home. And they would follow the maze you laid out and walk right into an open flame. I'm sorry, exactly what are you accusing me of? The power in the hospital didn't go off because of the attack on the dam. You did that. And I know, because the Elcourt Foundation has its name on every scalpel, bench, and backup generator in the place. Hmm. Quite the philanthropist you've become. <coughs> <coughs> there were children in that hospital, Lex. You took advantage of the attack on the dam to kill the power while James was on the operating table. You risked his life and the lives of countless others just so I would be forced to test the Haranel. Oh, you figured it all out. Well, mostly. You missed one big thing. Yeah, the story about my mother was just another lie to manipulate me. No, that was true. That's what made it so effective. But I also had Jimmy shot. Unfortunately, that wasn't as effective a cattle prod as I'd hoped. You are sick. Exactly. I'm dying. This horrible cancer is eating me up, and you are sitting pretty on the very thing that could cure me, and you wouldn't even test it! And God knows I'm not gonna test an experimental lethal drug on myself, so you needed a nudge. And a test dummy. Well, it worked. James is gonna live, and you're gonna rot. Because I will never, never give you the cure. Take him away. Lena, uh, Lena, Lena, I, I, I'm disappointed that this is your reaction, but I'm not surprised, which is why I had someone give me the cure 10 minutes ago. What? You're dead. No, you're dead. No. Inducers. I have to say, I was skeptical, but they really do come in handy. <laughs> Miss Tessmacher! <laughs> sorry, not sorry. How long? Forever. It's nothing personal. Mayday, mayday, individual one. Oh. Oh. Mm, that won't be necessary, Miss Tessmacher. My sister may be happy to let me die, but I have no intention of killing her. Are you sure about that, boss? She's a real smarty two-shoes. It's like food in your teeth. You're gonna thank me one day. Everyone will. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Stay here and take care of her. Yes, Mr. Luther. Indeed. Raise your right hand. 
Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. One disagreement over his obsession, and he shut me out. Threw me out of the company and himself into his crusade. He killed people. Luther kept offering Superman a place in his organization. Of course, Superman knew who he was. And Luther didn't take the rejection well. He used to say we were burdened with excellence. And it was just me and him against the world. And if I'm honest with myself, I believed him. I was blind enough to think that he wanted a partner. But he wanted a pet Kryptonian. But he wanted a sycophant. He kidnapped me. And I have... 16 scars from the torture. I've submitted our every correspondence into evidence. Enough smoking guns for an army. Plus, when he turned the sun red, I was wearing a wire. Mr. Luther, you are charged with murder, eco-terrorism, and crimes against humanity. Since you have chosen to represent yourself, have you anything to say before I render the verdict of this court? Superman made me do it. This is a paradigm shift. Aliens are among us. And for the rest of human history, there will only ever be before Superman and after. I am protecting mankind from an extinction event. And if this pearl-clutching jury of my peers wants to put me behind bars for it, they are welcome to try. But know this, I will always have my thumb on the scales. Alexander Joseph Luther, <clears throat> you have been found guilty on all counts and will serve 31 consecutive <clears throat> life sentences. Maybe we should make it 32. <clears throat> My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. Mr. Luther! I've sorry, sorry. Mr. Luther! A life that's Mr. Luther! Full. I traveled each and every highway and more. Much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, it was my. Ken, right? Can I help you? Uh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, uh, this universe and an infinite number of others is in the process of blinking out of existence, and there are seven people in all of space and time who can supposedly... Lex Luthor is gonna try to kill you. Lois. He is. Lex. Yeah. I didn't know the president was in town. Look, I've faced a lot of attention, please. Hello, old friend. Who are you? Don't you know me, Clark? I'm Lex Luthor. Hmm. You're not Lex? Maybe not the Lex you know. The multiverse has a way of aligning fates. What'd you do with those people? Send them back to their flying tin can in the sky. Let's hope they learn from this teachable moment. Now, I'm here for you, not them. Whoever you are, I'm just a guy working on his farm. You will always be my greatest enemy on any earth. It's written in the stars and in this book. 
Or I wouldn't know that on this earth, Clark Kent is Superman. Where I come from, that would be ridiculous. You can't see past his glasses. So what do you want? Hmm. To kill you, of course. And every version of you across the multiverse. So that if the uh, super friends somehow find a way to save existence, there won't be a single Superman to stand in my way. That's kryptonite. Which has no effect on me ever since I gave up my powers. You gave up your powers? Can't say I missed these jets. You were basically a god. You could fly. You could see through walls. You had super strength. You're kidding me. That is worth more than any superpower. Hey, Clark. The girls want to show you what they made. I think it's time for you to... I'm still stronger. You took all the fun out of it. Enjoy your little slice of mediocrity while you can, Clark. You're all doomed anyway. Hey. Was somebody here or were you attacking the cows again? Yeah, it's Lex Luthor from another Earth. Apparently the multiverse is ending. <laughs> oh, Bill, you made it funny. It's taken you about a decade, but you're getting the hang of it. Hmm. What'd the girls make? A mess. They can't wait for you to see it. Oh, <laughs> sounds like a job for us. Peace at last. Took a bit of persuading, but the prisoners have been pacified and neutralized. They're ready for the next round. Nanda Cherry is dead. It doesn't work. It can't. It never could. Pain is a necessary part of being human, of, of life, and I was delusional to think that I could save people or fix it. Humanity will always try to protect itself to evolve. You can't stop that. You saw Steve, how helpless he was all because of me. I was rooting for you, Lena. But I have to agree. Humanity can't be fixed. They need to be controlled. Leviathan may be our biggest threat, but they were right about one thing. Humanity needs a firm hand to guide it, to lead it, and not some arrogant alien. It needs to be human. You mean a loser? Think of all that we could accomplish together if we just take our rightful place as humanity's saviors. You never change. This was always all about you. Your megalomania, you knew my plan wouldn't work, that it was doomed. You were counting on it. How dare you! I gave you the world, everything. I supported you. I sabotaged nothing. Touched nothing. I set aside my own goals for you. Because you needed to see your little project fail with your own eyes. To know the true depravity of humanity. To know that my way was the only way. I paid my dues. Time.
I'm out of time. I've done my sentence. But we did it no crime. And that mistake. You're here to save the girl of steel. You're one glam rock hit too late. Are we? How? You're predictable. You can thank your sister for proving that. You still think you can beat me? I'm invincible. Not if we have anything to say about it. Welcome to mortality, Lex. Oh, that's just embarrassing. They could get any better. A Phantom Zone projector. <laughs> <laughs> 